I'm getting a message. What's that? Spirit says, don't trust white people who call themselves shamans. Oh my gosh, thank you for this question. I thought you would never ask. Yes, I am educated about the history and origins of shamanism. Shamanism often refers to divination, ritual work, and earth-based practices um, in indigenous cultures from everywhere in the world. And it did originate mostly in Asia, but it was also associated with Europe, the home place of us white people. So yes, many years ago, there were white shamans, but guess what? They weren't called white then. Whiteness is a byproduct of colonialism. All of us who are aware already know the effects of colonialism on black and indigenous people. And that was perpetuated by my ancestors, white people. Europeans really fucked up and destroyed a lot of things, or at least tried to, for black and indigenous people. What is often also not talked about is that our indigenous lineages were also crushed by our own brutal force. The construct of whiteness only appeared because of colonization. All of our indigenous ancestors from Europe were forced to give away and turn in our indigenous cultural practices, including shamanism, in exchange for power within a global system. Because of this, I do not think that a white person living in the so-called United States can be called a shaman. I don't think that's the proper use of the word. There are many decolonization and unsettling movements happening and a lot of encouragement of all people, including white people, to get back in touch with our ancestral lineage as part of healing um, what colonization has stolen from all of us. And I have been working on that process too. Many folks that I know who are white have been working on that process as well. It's part of our anti-racist commitment to the work. One of the curses of whiteness is it makes a lot of white people feel like we do not belong. We don't have anywhere. We don't come from anything. We have no culture. And that's the fault of white supremacy. That's not the fault of people of color. Are there exceptions to the rule? Are there some white people out there who are doing really sacred work on their lineage and doing it from a decolonial unsettling perspective? Yes, there totally are. But I actually wouldn't say those people are exceptions to the rule because I think anyone with enough education is gonna know enough not to refer to themselves as a shaman. Hi, Goofy Intuitive, and good morning to everyone. So thank you for this question. I want to preface it by saying that I can't tell you what word to call yourself. I can't tell you what the proper way for you to identify is. Um, that is part of your journey. And the reason that I say never trust a white person who uses the word shaman is oftentimes the people I hear themselves call themselves shaman are also people who have not done a lot of ego work or reflection. That is a pattern I have noticed over many, many years that I have been involved in different healing communities. We think of a lot of spiritual predators out there. We hear about them. We hear about people that exploit other people for money, for power, for admiration. Um, and they use spirituality and healing as that as that marker. Um, and what I've noticed is that that's the word that a lot of those people use. They use the word shaman. They use the words guru. So because of that, when I hear those words, it's like red flag, red flag, red flag. Ever. Once again, I cannot tell you what to call yourself. I am offering this perspective. The desire to hold on to a label is actually rooted in white supremacy. That hierarchical culture is rooted in white supremacy. And it really doesn't serve us in our healing communities because hierarchy has no place in healing. So you call yourself an intuitive. I think that's a 100% great word to use for yourself if you are a practitioner of healing arts. I also think people should think about what exactly they do and what exactly they offer. So for me, I read tarot. I practice some astrology, although I don't use the word astrologer to uh, identify myself. I do identify myself as a tarot reader and teacher. I do identify myself as a plant witch. Those are things that I do and that I practice, and those are words that feel applicable to me. Because of a lot of the, the recent kind of stuff regarding hierarchy, I've seen that 
um, applied not only towards like shaman and guru, but it's starting to be applied towards like empath. And because of that, I've been really hesitant to continue to identify myself as an empath, even though I am one. You identify as and do some research around that. I identify as psychic. Um, but psychic means very different things to very different people. I can't tell you the exact details of who you're going to marry or when you're going to die because I don't believe that those things have been written in the stars yet. So for me, psychic ability does not mean being able to predict the future. It means being able to pick up on wavelengths that exist beyond this temporal realm. So if people are like, but I want to call myself a shaman, ask yourself why. Why do you have an attachment to that word? Why do you identify as it? And is there another word that more realistic explains like what you do and can you use that word instead?